start your own channel? Or perhaps you already have one and are wondering how you can make your hobby a steady job? Let's find out together. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Now you won't miss any of our new videos. Major YouTube channels make a profit from their videos and work, and it's a decent amount of money. So if you're seriously thinking about making YouTube your main source of income, where should you start? What are the steps to success? Don't worry, we've got you covered. The first thing you have to do is, of course, start your own channel, if you haven't already. The magic of YouTube is that your channel can be about almost anything. You can make short and meaningful cartoons, sing, or share your lifestyle. The options are endless. Your YouTube account is basically the same as your Google account, and you can either use it as it is or create a new one. It's better to choose your username carefully because the more complicated it is, the less chance there is that you'll make it big. It should be something easy and memorable so that people won't be saying, I saw a cool video on that channel. Gosh, I don't remember the name. Anyway, if your current username is just not working for you, that's not a problem. Simply change it on your Google Plus account and you're good to go. The more people that find your channel, the better. So don't forget to add keywords connected to your content in the advanced section of your channel settings. Okay, now that you finally have a YouTube channel, it's time to work on your content and upload it. You have to find your own topics and discover your unique style. Try not to make your videos too long and always make sure that your audience won't get bored. You want them to keep being intrigued by every second of it. Of course, nothing happens right away and your videos and their quality will grow with you. Just watch a couple of the very first videos by popular YouTubers. They're not exactly as amazing as what they do now, right? Well, try to upgrade your content. Buy a better camera, use better editing software, and so on. The key thing, however, is to post videos regularly. If you only post videos once or twice a month, your audience can quickly forget about your channel if it's not some one-of-a-kind content. So try to keep a pace of at least one video a week. This way, people will be waiting impatiently for the next week to find out what your new video will be. And don't forget about tags and keywords. Make sure everyone who's interested in the topic can find your videos. And this is where it all begins. You can monetize your content and make money from your videos. Just go to my channel, click on the video manager link, click on channel again, and choose enable monetization. Done. From now on, YouTube will place ads in your video. But don't forget that to make it all work and make real money, you need to have a steady audience that'll watch your videos. Don't be shy. Share your videos in your social media and interact with your viewers more often to keep it personal. Your audience will find you and then they'll stay. There's one more simple requirement. You need at least 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers to start earning money. If it's necessary, you can monetize your old videos as well by opening Video Manager and clicking on the dollar sign next to them. Don't forget to set up Google AdSense so you can get your money. You can do it for free at the AdSense website. If you're younger than 18 years old, ask your mom and dad to help you. AdSense will need a PayPal account or valid address to know who you are and who to send the money to. Another important thing for any YouTuber or blogger is analytics. It's basically your feedback, along with the comments, to help you learn which topics really resonate with your audience, and vice versa. Every YouTuber checks it regularly, so if you're still building your audience, pay attention to those numbers and graphs. They can tell you pretty much anything about your viewers and subscribers and give you ideas on how to improve. And if one of your videos happen to go viral, there's also a way to get your dose of profit from it. Simply speaking, you can license your content in exchange for money. Now, TV news, media outlets, and other creators will have to reach out to you for the rights to use your video. Okay, let's say that you have a good steady audience and are earning a nice amount of money. Can you do anything else to step it up a little bit? Sure. Just become a YouTube partner. For this, you'll need to meet another requirement. 15,000 cumulative watch hours for your channel over the last 90 days. When you achieve that, go to the YouTube partner page, do a couple of clicks, and voila! 
There are other great additions to this title as well. YouTube partners have access to more creation tools, community support and tips, and can even win prizes. Not bad, right? You can also start selling your own merchandise once your channel starts to become more prominent. Of course, this takes even more effort and work, but it's incredibly rewarding for both the excitement of your subscribers and, let's be honest, your bank account. And with cool merch, you can get even more subscribers as people will ask others where they got such cool stuff. More people will check out what you're all about and become part of your audience. There are tons of affordable freelance websites that can help you with that, like Fiverr and many others. Just search for more information on any questions you have and take some time to think about it. And while we're on the topic of selling stuff, you can also sell other people's products as an affiliate marketer, which means that you'll be selling them in exchange for a commission. Even huge companies like Amazon and eBay offer great deals to affiliate marketers promoting their products, so it won't be a problem to go with this if you decide to. However, it may change and affect your content as you'll have to review your affiliate products, leave links to them in the description, or even make how-to-use tutorials, which isn't that bad for a lifestyle blog, but may not be suitable for blogs with other themes. Looking for sponsorship with certain companies for advertisements can also be an excellent solution. So, to put it briefly, all you need to make it big on YouTube is hard work, determination, creativity, and belief in yourself. Just like with any other job out there. So what are you waiting for? Start to share your ideas and creations now, and turn your favorite hobby into your dream job. Good luck!